So after dropping down a pit, we are back here at the Dwarven Colony. The dwarves rejoice at the return of their prince. Royals and the clerics surround the prince. Almon turns to you. Beyond hope, we have returned with the prince Kriogar. How can we possibly thank you? They waste information on the ways to surface. Kriogar interrupts. No, it has it there is an ancient throne room about the seven levels down. In the throne room, there is a secret door in the north wall. The door opens to the long underground passageway which should take you to the lands just east of Waterdeep. Prince Kirgal says, There must be some other way I can repay you for bringing me back to my people. The least I can do is to continue on your help, the quest against Xanatha. This should awaken the king. You exclaim as they give the potion to the cleric. Skeptically, the cleric administers the potion. A few moments later, King Tyrogol awakens, still weak but very much alive. Quickly, the dwarves explain the past events to King Tyrogol, including your part in the awakening him from the coma. Grateful, the king thanks you. Brave adventurers, you have saved my life. Please accept this as our most precious gift. I can tell you little about it, save that it will aid you in your darkest hour. And of course, here we have the wand of Silvius. The key in the destruction of the Beholder, Xanatha. Alright, folks, let's get down to level 12 and end this fucking game. Wait first. What we shall do. We have so many bones to resurrect here. Resurrect Kirath. Kirath looks about annoyed. You mean I was dead? Yeah. Now you probably think I owe you for resurrecting me. I care nothing for your commission from the Lords of Waterdeep, but we seem to be heading down the same path. I am Kirath, the greatest wizard of the realms. I seek the special magic that Xanathar is alleged to possess. Perhaps we can help each other at least. You might benefit from my talents and power. Kirath joins the party. And we'll let Kirgar rejoin his people. Giving us another mage. Probably a good idea is to swap these two. Get him in the middle. That ring of adornments really ain't worth shit. I do want to give him a spell book though. And give Clot her goodness. You can have your ring. Two, one, all right. Thought the plate mail would be better. No scribe. Doesn't even have to detect magic. Come on. Let's memorize some spells. Yes, Ice Storm and Stone Skin. We'll take Stone Skin and a couple fireballs and some Melf Acid Arrow. Detect magic. There we go. Love having two mages. Love it. Oh, we got the winger, the ringer of wizardry on him for now. You know, we actually should probably move the ringer wizardry uh, to Kirath for now. We'll get more benefit out of it. Get another ice storm. Don't really have any. Uh, Spell's worth the shit for this guy yet. Go ahead and rest up.
Wand of Lightning, Wand of Stick, Wand of Magic Missile. There we go, give him a Wand of Magic Missile. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna travel back to deeper in the dungeon where we were before, level 10, 11, something like that, and we'll come back. I'm not gonna bore you with the treacherous journey that it's gonna take for me to aimlessly find my way back. See you then. And here we are back. Finally on level 7. The drow level. Where you need to use the holy symbol. This will take you to level 11. Where you can finally access level 12. exactly sure how to get down but I think we want to try our way south oh how I hope we got a key for this we do It's kind of fucking empty, right? Oh, scroll of hold monster. Describe that for Carseus. Of course, there's a secret door. With some crazy zorns. These aren't stone golems, by the way. You dumbasses, they're zorns. X-O-R-N. Seen a couple walkthroughs that tried to explain these as being stone golems, and I just want to punch you in the face. I don't think so, mind fucker. I don't think so. I'm slipping. I am so slipping. Good night. Fuck what your mama gave you. It's time for level 12, folks. The end begins here. <laughs> oh, it's been a hefty, hefty, hefty amount of years since I've seen this level. I want to thank you guys for making this journey with me. And let's have fun with it. It's not that huge, uh, huge of a level. We do want to have our little wand of uh, Pushni Taka ready. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll give it to uh, Kirath, I guess. I believe it has unlimited charges. So let's uh, let's let's begin now. Well, let's begin in the next video, anyways. See you then. It's time to wrap up by the Beholder.